Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Ottoman Empire Well guys, we are trying not to become a sick man to Europe So guys, today we are going to be starting the today's episode with a crisis A crisis on our hand that we don't know if we're going to win or if we're not going to win Actually, I have a really good feeling that we're probably going to win this Because once the uh, Germanic Federation and the, and the British come onto our side, I believe we're going to win Let's get that So, yeah <laughs> I have nothing else to say to that except, yeah, we're going to win this and, by the way, I think I'm going to change my targets from, um, the Mexico. I feel like we need to kind of take out the Russian Empire, because this crisis kind of made me realize something. The Russian Empire and the French Alliance are kind of a little bit too powerful. Okay? We need to break this up. We need to finally break this up, so, white peace, thank you. So, we're going to, uh, go after the Russian Empire, in fact, but first off, we have to destroy our alliances, dissolve our alliance... Uh, dissolve our alliance all right and then we just have to wait for somebody to offer us an alliance and then what we're going to try to do is try to get an alliance with, with them Are you guys consider great power no yeah I was looking it up and Netherlands was like the next person okay and let's see you guys form an alliance first okay then we go over here yes perfect proceed there we go now we got an alliance with both the UK and the North Germanic Federation. So we have a pretty good, pretty good alliance here right now. This is really good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to wait till all of our army is created. Um, let's see. The foremost soldiers. I think I miscounted, actually, when I was doing the math here. I think I miscounted and I actually made too many soldiers. So there's actually not enough soldiers right there. So that's kind of funny, if you must be honest. That's kind of funny to me. And let's see. You guys can also go join these guys. Let's see, rock me in my cradle. And, yeah, we're going to be fighting against the Russian Empire again, people. Because I refuse to give up. The Russian Empire must die. I mean, they must die. For many things, but mostly for being the Russian Empire and being so dang powerful. I mean, seriously, if they weren't so dang powerful, I don't think I'd have much of a difficulty with them. But they really are insanely powerful. By the way, I better keep the game going. Um, because right now, one, two. Oh, wait. Wait, I have to do this a little bit. Three, four, five. I'm building lots of soldiers right now. Because I have a feeling that when we go to war against the Russians. Three, four, five. And then, one, two. Is that the type of soldiers I want? No, I want these type. Sorry. Whoops. No. Want these type. Alright, and then go right here. And put this as a new waypoint. Yes. Because I have a feeling that when we go to war with Russia, it's going to be an insanely hard war. Like, I believe Russia is going to just be that nation that's going to be like, oh, so difficult to fight. Like, so, so difficult to fight. So I should probably mentally prepare myself now instead of later. Because if we do this, it'll be really good. And, oh, shoot, Italy formed. <sighs> okay. So that kind of that kind of puts a hamper in my plans. So let's see. What do I need to do? Lombardi, free Lombardi. All right. And then, now let's go to war against Montenegro. Because I'm basically using the same idea I had in the earlier episodes. I'm going to try it again. I feel like this time we're going to do it. This time we're going to declare war on them. This time we're actually going to beat it. And let's see, everyone's being made. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do it this time. Uh, I'm also going to... Uh, what else? Uh, let's see. Let's see how much infamy we get. Because I also... I'm also thinking that maybe we should make a little bit more alliances. Because, like, I want to make sure we can move in fast to all these nations. And making more, you know, puppets for us to use would be nice. And so I'm going to release Venice. And I'm going to release... Uh, Amelia, because I feel like these guys will be the most helpful to us in our conquest. So, there we go. Plus, that way it also blocks the uh, Italians from having a major grip on my country. Because now they have to deal with the uh, Venetians that are free from them, and they have to deal with the uh, Lombardians who are free from the uh, Italian oppression, as I'll call it. Because that's the way you'll make everything sound good. Say oppression, and it makes everyone go, <gasps> <laughs> okay, so, yeah, these two armies are going to be the ones that are going to be fighting the Russians down here, plus the British, 
so we have basically three armies attacking from the south and we have two armies attacking four armies attacking from the north sorry oh wait let me reseed this oh too late I was just about to unseize that so they wouldn't have so much difficulty but apparently I was way too late let's see though you guys engineers let's see oh you guys Oh my goodness, this is like the worst imbalanced army I've ever had. Let's go send half the soldiers over there, half the soldiers over there, and start making new soldiers, because apparently, apparently we went over our limit. And now the game hates me, because when you go over your limit, the game really severely hates you. Uh, but that's probably because I actually released those two states, but with these two states, I believe we're going to have a much better chance of winning. I'll also go put these guys over here so let's see go put you guys over here go put you guys over there once these guys are in position I'll declare war and we'll start the first fight for the Russian lands alright alright let's see you guys get over there got my 63k alright you guys Montenegro declare war humiliate calling my allies everyone gonna join in yes Let's do this. Yes, everyone joined in. All right, move in, move in, move in. Go, 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 go. All right, Germany's gonna try something. I don't know what they're gonna try yet because I don't really know their strategy. You guys, D group, have two armies. Go send one army right there. Go send another army right there. All right. Uh, you guys in the war yet? No. You guys get in the war because I, your master said so. You guys get into this war. You guys are getting into this war. Let's see. You guys in this war? No. Get into this war. Let's see. You guys get into this war. There we go. And let's see. That's going to be like six men going to be fighting against the Russian Empire. Let's see if this is going to be enough. Oh um, my goodness. Yeah. 366 versus 176. This is really... The Russians have a lot of men. <laughs> let's just leave it like that. They have a lot of men and they could cause a lot of difficulties. Let's just slow it down so I can make sure I get this... Siege, there we go. And now what we're going to do is now that we have the war goal, proceed, do a conquest, there we go. Then go right here, uh, go right there, de get, get my humiliate. And now that we got our war goal, I'm going to go send my soldiers up here to go help the Germans. A little bit of myself, I'm also keeping some men here to go help myself. And we have some soldiers over there. Let's go get those soldiers, go send them over to this side of front. I'm going to try to keep a good size front moving in. Then I'm also going to try to keep a good size front for myself. And let's see. Oh, man. We're going to have to move in this pretty quickly because the Germans... I mean the Russians. Sorry. We have to remember, these are the Russians, not the Germans. The Russians... The Germans are the ones actually helping us. The Russians are the ones that could potentially move in pretty quickly unless we destroy them fast. We have to destroy these guys insanely fast. We also have Lombardi making a lot of troops. We have uh, Venice making a lot of troops. Um, we're sending an army up north to make sure that we protect ourselves. These guys over here are still fighting. That's good, I guess. And let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is beautiful. Uh, Haiti? I don't really care about Haiti. <laughs> oh my goodness. They like do states I don't really care about. Okay. There we go. Siege up all this land. Of course not. Okay. Move up here. Go get Orissa. Then let's go get right here. Actually, we could probably go right there. And let's see, there's already some troops being made right here or battles. Hey, you guys, go over here. We have to quickly crush. I think what we're going to try to do is get. It's kind of influence the Germans to go quickly go crush on Moscow. I mean, not Moscow, St. Petersburg. Because right now the capital is St. Petersburg. That's where we want their troops in about a couple days or weeks or whatever it takes to go get them there. We just need them there. Okay, you guys get on the boats. Okay, you guys are being sent right here. Go group up there. Let's see if they have both those armies. Okay, we have three armies potentially. Let's see, moving right there. Let's see, we're moving. We're moving in pretty quickly. I mean, we're causing a lot. We're probably causing a lot of trouble for the for the uh, Russians, but. Germany's right now slowing down just a little wee bit. We need to go help them out before they all die. Venice is obviously sending in suicide packs. You know what? Go group up with these guys just so that... Okay. I don't know where Italy... 
Okay, I don't know where they're going, but there's a 43k death stack. It's big. It's bigger than most of the other troops around in the region. I'm gonna go try to help that out so it doesn't die. Keep moving in my soldiers over here, creating a good sized army. We're also moving in another sized army in the back. All right, got soldiers over here. Got British soldiers over there. Where are the British, by the way, in this? Like seriously, by the way. Oh my goodness, so many factories collapsed. Okay, make sure that they don't collapse, because I kind of need them right now. Yay, the British are invading something! Okay, now I just need them to invade more important things, though. Okay, these guys are still crushing in. That's still pretty good. Alright. Uh, Lombardi is doing something weird. Let me see, can I control Lombardi's army? Yes, I can, yes. Okay, Lombardi. Group up all your men. Send them right here. We're going to go try to go destroy that death stack right there. Okay. Group up. Group up. Okay. And now, let's see. First off, let's go... Wait. Yeah. You guys stop. Oh, stop. I, I don't want you guys grouped up with anyone else. You guys stop. Go destroy this army right here. What we're going to go try to do is go destroy like a big gigantic army before they all group up. Yeah, go destroy these guys. Yes. Alright, you guys are obviously moving in to go protect these guys. Gonna go help you. Yes, got them all dead. Nope. Oh, shoot, I just sacrificed the Lombardi men. Well, I sacrificed the Lombardi men for, I guess, a good cause. Yeah, they're all dead. But at least they moved in and they were pretty good. Okay, we're moving in pretty tight right here. Um, man, I wish the Germans would actually mobilize right now, because that would really help us out. Um, could we get anyone else in on this? That would be really important. It could actually make a difference. Probably not you guys, because you guys are, um, not exactly our friends, I should say. <laughs> not exactly our friends. I don't think Ethiopia likes me enough. Yeah, they don't like me enough to do that. Plus, they wouldn't be much of a help, because they are an uncivilized nation. Let's see. You guys move in a little bit up here. Okay, we're just trying to make sure no army completely dies. Go destroy this army, though. Because I do want to go kill these guys. Right. Let's see. We're kind of group. We're kind of like causing a big, gigantic circle to fall upon. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kill more. Kill more. Go destroy these guys for me. Okay. Wait, there's a battle going on right there, too. But I need to go kill these guys so that they don't have any more problems. Down here, did you guys siege up all this? Now you guys are getting closer. These guys are getting sieged up. These guys are getting sieged up. Let's see. Okay, and Lombardi. You guys can have control over your troops again if you guys have any more troops. Because, well, your troops might be gone. I'm just saying there's a possibility of that. Okay, I'm also going to go crush through this army. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. going to do it when they're a little bit tinier. Okay, go. Also, uh, give me more breach load rifles so that I'm more powerful. And... Ah. Get right there. Right, yeah, they're just swarming. They're just kind of swarming right now, but... I've also got their uh, lines basically backed up a little bit, and yeah, we're crushing, I think we're doing pretty good right now. Right now, let's see, the Germ the Russians have how many troops? 86! Oh, they only have 86 brigades. That's, I think, pretty good? I don't quite know. I think that's pretty good. And I just restarted my countdown, so that means this episode might go a little bit longer or shorter, depending on how much we were at. So you guys might get lucky to get a really long episode today while we try to figure out our battle strategy. Uh, you guys are going in right there. My men are moving in to go siege up more land. Yeah, sieging up Russian land is like a pain. Oy. Okay, yeah, you guys are going to win your battle. Okay, we're going to quickly go and uh, just siege directly towards St. Petersburg. So I want I want the Germans to go get St. Petersburg for me. But right, you guys go destroy this army so that it doesn't come back and haunt us. 
yeah, please destroy this army. Because if that army comes back and haunt us, we, we might have difficulties. Okay, we're sieging up all this land right here. Uh, let's go right here. Get close to the Pex Glove. There we go. And we're right there, we're right there. I wish... Now we just need the, uh... Oh, wow. Were we engaged in a battle of some sorts? I wasn't even paying attention. Um... Okay, now we just need the British to kind of move in. We need, like, a couple British soldiers. Um... Wow, Ajiristan, you guys have stayed alive pretty, pretty long. Um... The British aren't sending in any of their men to go try to go siege up any of this. We have won most of the battles. That's good. Okay. You guys move in right here. Let's see. I think this is a pretty stable Russian front. I, at least I feel confident that it's not going to lose. Um, there's only one big army that I really have to contend with. There's two big. Which is right over there. But. Oh my goodness. Can we make it in time? I don't think we're going to be able to make it in time. It looks like an arm. Oh wait, they're sending in their men too. Well, I'm gonna go help. I'm gonna go help them go destroy this army. Okay, and there we go. And let's see. We're moving in pretty quickly. Yes. I just need to go siege up this part so that the AI doesn't go siege it up. All right. Yes. We're moving in really close to Saint Petersburg. Oh my goodness! This is this is a really good. This is a really good invasion, guys. We're really blitzkrieging them. Well, not blitzkrieging them, because this is a pretty slow blitzkrieg. But, we're attacking them with full force. We're trying to get to St. Petersburg. I'm crushing really, really hard for St. Petersburg. And let's see. Oh, my goodness. I do have a bigger army down here. Have to pay a little more attention. I'm going to go move my soldiers in right there. That way we can destroy Belgorod. Because I don't want that new soldier to be made so that they have more soldiers. Mm-hmm. Kind of have to be thinking like this economically, because if they have more soldiers, they could potentially make more, which could potentially damage us. All right, let's see. Is there any big armies I have to really contend with? Well, actually, the only big armies are actually in the south right now. Any in the north? No. Wow. Okay, we're really crushing through all the Russian lands. Let's see. How many Russian soldiers do they have? 76. How many do the Germans have right now? Without being deployed, may I add. They have 54. That's actually pretty good right there. I mean, considering they have 54 and they just have... Ah, I don't want to lose that siege. Okay, um... Let's go send some more men up here. To go help with more of the sieges. I know I was just saying I need to, like, siege these guys back, but... We also need to kind of make sure the Germans keep moving. Make sure they keep winning all their fronts. Okay, so I'm just gonna, just gonna stay right there. Okay, there's a big gigantic army moving down there. Go send our men down there, because I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to win... At least hold them off until my men get there, as a very, at the very least. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off. Hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off. You know, it always happens when I'm about to get there. I don't know why. Okay, well then just stick stick right here. Let's see, is there any kind of counteroffensive going on? There's a counteroffensive going on right there, but I can't save it. Um, in terms of over here, though, hmm. All right, we have enough men that we could actually make some more men. Let's see, build five men in Asia. That way I know that they're being made in the right place. One, two, two, three, four. And then build an engineer. Five. All right, and then build some hussiers. One. <gasps> oh, excuse me, people. Build some engineers right there. Build some more hussiers right over there. And let's see, the British are, I think, building up an army to go attack the... Uh, Russians, but the Russians are obviously having more men over here now. It's it's kind of sad to admit that, but they really do. I'm going to have to pull back just a little bit. Um, we're right there, though. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to lose all those men up there in the north, but I did try. We were right there. We were that close to St. Petersburg, but still we could not beat them. Going to go help seed down this land, though, so that they the Russians just don't go back. And go siege this up because I already know their strategy. They're gonna go siege up all this land and be like, oh, let's go siege up all this. And be like, they'll be like, hup -a -dup, yay, we're gonna go siege up all this. So I'm gonna go help them siege up all this land in the back. That way they don't waste their time on this. Because I don't, I really don't want them to waste their time on this. This is really not the most important part. So 
Let's just reseed all this land for them. And let's see, we have a couple different armies. Um, generally, I believe this 35 is going to beat that 38. I don't think that's going to lose. That 24 might lose, though, to that 35. So we might need to go send in more men over there. There's a 53 down here. Not really that much pressure over here, though, which is kind of weird. And let's see. The only success right now in terms of the uh, British moving in is that and that right there. Yeah, the British aren't really helping me that much. <laughs> if I must be honest with you, they are not helping me that much. But we're going to win this. I believe if we keep pushing right, we're going to win this. But we have to make sure the Russians push. We have to keep me making sure the Russians push. I mean, why do I keep saying the Russians? They are the Germans. There's a distinct difference between the two cultures. The only thing that sounds similar about them is their names. But yeah, we're going to go reconquer all this so that they don't go send men to go into the backgrounds as they already were trying to do. We're going to go make sure that they conquer all of this first. By the way, you guys aren't mobilized yet, have you? No. Good. So they have not mobilized. So just in case if we do somehow lose this, we still got some extra mobilization men that could somehow come in and go save us. And that army right there is the most likely that will move over here to uh, St. Petersburg, which is good. I'm about to be on the front lines again. Just give me a second. Oh, that's big. Whew. Okay. Now, I was actually scared there for that Netherlands troops. Let's go right here. The last little bit of army that they sieged up. And then we have a basic good front against the Russians. And now I can kind of see how this is all going. Hmm. Let's see. Do we have our men being made right now? Yes, we do. They're all being made in different places. Hmm, the Russians haven't defeated all my puppets yet. I actually thought they were defeated my puppets by now. Apparently not. They're also building more and more troops, which means the longer we keep ourselves in this war, the longer it's going to be. So, mm, word to the wise. Get this war over with as soon as possible. Okay, Germany finally mobilized. They finally mobilized. They finally mobilized. Everyone finally mobilized. That's good. So, Germany actually has enough troops right now to actually do some stuff. Let's see, we're going to siege back Russia Outfit Expedition, of course. Germany actually has enough land space to actually be able to make a difference. We just have to quickly go destroy some more men. Okay. We'll go send this 21k up here to go kind of help our invasion a little bit. Because the Russians are obviously pushing us back pretty heavily. You guys go right here to the capital. Make sure that we have a couple more soldiers. Alright. And... Let's see. Man, there's so many troops right now. Let's see, is that 36? Yes, that 36 is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. It's moving directly into the capital. And let's see, we have an 8 stack versus a 28 stack. That's not going to end well. But what we can do is go protect this army right here. Because even if they kill, they're not going to be able to kill enough. Oh, well, we don't actually need to protect them. We need to go protect these. No, go right there, go right there. Okay. Seriously, we need to go protect these guys over here so they don't die. Don't, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh man, I just sent in some more troops. Let's see, you guys are going to um, Pescovisk. Let's see if we can go save some of them. Nope, they aren't going to Pescovisk. We just conquered the capital, yes! Okay, so we just conquered St. Petersburg. That is a good reward winning moment right there. So we now have the capital in our hands. Let's see, you guys, I guess we'll group up with these guys so they don't become too weak. And right now we're building extra soldiers. There's a 15k men of Venice. I didn't even know we had a, had Venice still here. Wow. Okay, we still got Venice in this game. Good job, Venice. <laughs> okay, and let's see, can we make any more soldiers over here? Yes, we can. So let's see, we can build like one, two, three. Probably build a 3k army, so one two, and then one, two, three, one more, four, this is going to be this side of this army, going to build up over here, going to go send them then all the way over here, all right, with the, with the, uh, you know, building up of Germans, all right, the Germans are all kind of helping each other, hopefully, I mean, I'm trying to make sure the, the front does not turn against us, the 66 Germans moving in, there we go, why did they just stop their attack? There we go. 69, 60. Okay, there we go. That should crush all those guys. There we go. Just won a good battle right there. 
Another 20 are moving in right there. Yes. All right, we're still keeping the Germans back. <laughs> still got some of my puppets, too, which is awesome. And now the British are starting to move in. Yes! All right, the British are now starting to move in, which is a good sign that we're winning this. And they actually opened up another front. Or they did? Did they open up another front? They, they seized that province, but where are the troops? Where are the troops that are supposed to be over here? Oh, they're right there, and they're moving all across the land? Oh, my goodness. Okay, Venice, I don't know what you're doing with your troops, but stop it. That's not what you're supposed to do. Give me command of your troops. This theater of war has basically been lost. I'm giving up on this theater of war and moving up to this one. All right. Let's see. We got all this seeds up. Let's see. They're going directly after that 9K right there. Hope that 9K can make it. Uh, 3K. There we go. There we go. Good, they all made it. And let's see. Venice is now finishing up their sieges. There we go. More Germans are getting to the front lines. That's good. Okay, we have a couple different armies. I don't think this army is big enough anymore to help anyone, but it's just staying here so that it doesn't die. Um, <laughs> more Germans are coming to help our, our armies. Let's go see. Go send you guys upwards. Go we'll send you guys over here. Yes, yeah, more British. British are actually moving in, which is good. I mean, the, the Russians are throwing everything at me, but we are not giving up. Okay, we have more soldiers right here. 36k. Go right here. Go destroy you guys. You guys right here. Go pick up some men from uh, Alsace. Al Alsace is that Alsace? And let's see, yes, which is crushing through everything, yes. We got St. Petersburg, which is really a good thing. We needed St. Petersburg, that way we could move in even freely. Because now that we have St. Petersburg, there's very little these guys can do. Because now we have their capital. We own their capital. And that means we have a pretty good front. Alright, there we go. We're kind of pushing them back, but they're kind of conquering back us. Oh my goodness. Alright. You guys, these siege go right here. We'll go see if we can go try to go save that army right there. Just to go try to go, uh... Can we do it? Can we do it? Okay, 56 versus that many. This is going to be a toughie. This is going to be a tough battle right here. I'm going to see if I can at least... At the very least, I want to see if I can draw this one out. So that maybe we could win it. That's the very least. That's the very least I want to do. Is I want to draw the battle out. At the very most, I want to see if I can win that battle. Okay? Well, let's see. You guys, where are you guys going? No. I want you guys to go over here. Wow, we lost a lot of men in that. Yeah. My man apparently killed the, the Germans much faster. That wasn't even like a competition. That was just like, oh my goodness. Okay, you guys move in right there. Venetians, see if you guys can make a difference in this battle. Okay. Don't, don't die, 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 don't die. Yes! Okay. 27, 26, 25. There we go. Just turn the tide of that battle. Oh my goodness. And now the Russians. I believe we crushed most of the Russian forces. 127 men. Holy shoot. They are on a constant building spree. They are not giving up their land that easily. They are building and building and building and building. And they're not stopping. Like, I think we're seeing the uh, German war machine right now. Seriously. They're at war with Punjab right now. What? what what's going on there? Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. A Punjab revolt just at this time. I mean, this won't really help us that much, but this is just gonna distract some of their army. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be awesome. Yes. Yes, I approve. I so approve. That's gonna distract their army. Let's see, do we have our soldiers over here being built? They're almost done. Yes. Alright. And we got that. That German army right there is gonna win. Let's see, you guys... Don't group up with them. Oh, my goodness, yes. All right. One second, guys. Okay, sorry about that, people. Had to deal with some things, but now I'm back. And as you guys can see, diamonds! Oh, my goodness, we have diamonds. Okay, but anyways, right now we've... I think we're doing pretty good. Like, the German war effort has succeeded. Um, the British still have not sent in many troops to come help us, but they're sending in some, so I guess it's not entirely bad but still 
It's not what we would want, because at any point in time, as you guys have already seen, the, uh, the, uh, the people that we hate, the Russians, they have basically 100k divisions, and they keep making more. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare get... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was just about to come into that battle. I was just about to help you guys out. Okay, so I'm basically... What we're trying to do is maybe we could win by battles. So, if we get a 50k battles, maybe what we could do is have them actually be submitted into giving us what we wanted. So, I mean, this is just a thought. It's just a thought, but it could actually work. So, we just need to keep making sure that the Germans win the majority of their battles so that we can just keep uh, all you guys. Yeah, you guys go group up with your other friends. We just have to make sure we group up everyone and make sure that they're all fine. Okay. And it seems like the Russians are crushing pretty hard through all this. Man, if we could get all the little British Indian states to join us, that would have been awesome. But apparently not. But at least the Germans are now still turning. I mean, the Russians are still turning. I don't know what it is about me calling them the Russians. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just psychologically pointed into my brain that the Germans are my enemy. Or I just have a really bad innate feeling that I just have... I just pronounce things wrong all the time. I think that's it. I think it's just I pronounce things wrong all the time. But anyways, as you guys can see, the Russians are trying to make grabs here and there to try to get back their lands. Um, we're just we're just here to kind of help the uh, Germans win more battles. Like I said, if, they, if, we, if we can get them to win a lot of battles, they could potentially become really, really powerful. So also, I'm pretty sure I just stranded those troops unless they can somehow get away. Let's see, the 15th, uh, 12th. Yes, they're going to be able to get away before before these guys get there. What? They said I was going to get away. Okay. Well, anyways, we're going to go help this battle right here because this battle could become a potentially big one. I'm pretty sure my men are going to be able to hold out for a little bit. Come on, guys. Come on. Hold out. Hold out. Hold out. Hold out. I literally... Oh, great. My troops are literally right there. Ah. Uh, Okay, we'll stay right here. Alright, let's see. Is there any other battles I need to kind of be presented with? Lombardi is moving in an actual decent-sized troops. Um, you guys are the last remnants of the Venetian uh, army. Good job, soldiers. We kind of lost the war, but good job. And it seems like Russia's actually having to send in troops over there. That's beautiful, which means we have much more chances. The Germans are completely matching the... Uh, are completely matching matching the Russians in terms of how much they deployed, so that's pretty nice right there. Uh, we have ton, a ton of loss. We have to just see where's a big gigantic battle happening. Uh, up here, we're sieging up all the men. Land seventy six forty. We get about forty six more war score from there. So let's just see. We have to wait for a big gigantic battle to happen again, and then you guys, you guys group up right there. Let's go see. There we go. Big gigantic battle. You guys keep them there. You guys go right there, then go right there. Okay. Keep the battle going. That's all I need the 9k troops to do is just keep the battle going for a little bit longer so that we can win that. There we go. And let's see. We could actually go do our own battle right here, but that's actually a fort and that could cause a lot of difficulties. And let's see. Germany's moving in. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. Let's see, though. Russians... Are uh, moving into that army. Go start sending our forces there. Okay, just keep there. Yes. Okay, we're gonna be able to keep it. We're gonna be able to keep this, guys. Yes. We got there on time, people. Well, our soldiers actually got there on time. Okay. The moving back into the exact place I cannot attack yet. And then no, nope, wait. Now I can attack because now the because now the uh, Germans are attacking it. Yay! Go attack. Go use all of our forces. Go hit this place as hard as we can. Boom! 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 Three armies, and I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.